Hi guys, Thomas here, and today I'm in like a review environment. I haven't been in this side of the table in so long in front of a camera, so I'm kind of missing this, but um, today we have a very special package. As some of you may know, uh, we've just released the BMS Racing Raptor Series line of motors. So it's a 4S high power and a 6S sort of high power efficiency motor. And we've been working on them for quite a while. Uh, for a bit of backstory, we actually started working on these back in December of 2017 after we visited T-Motor. They really wanted to do a BMS motor really early on, but I really wanted to have a design sort of um, involvement in it, basically. So we went to their factory, it was really inspiring seeing what they do. The thing about T-Motor is that they're always like way ahead of whatever wherever you can think. So trying to make your own unique motor and sort of you know, try and outthink team motor is really hard when it's sort of their job and, you know, they do a really, really good job of what they do. So we actually designed the bell back in December of 2017. Pretty much straight after I got off the plane in China, I went to bed for a few hours, woke up, and I was like, I've got an idea, I know what I want to do at least for the look of it. So I designed that up straight away. That way I could sort of, you know, have a visual thing to look at and sort of go, okay, now what am I going to do with this? Um, originally, we actually had three motors that we designed. We had a 4S high power, a 4S grip slash 5S high power, and then the 6S sort of super efficient one. And we ended up actually cutting out the 4S grip and just going for the high power motor and the 6S sort of efficiency high power build. Um, just because I got a really big interest in lightweight builds and also there's not that much 5 cell stuff available. So I thought it's better to focus on these two. At that point too I was also getting more into the higher RPM game, more into running sort of your thinner prop blades but getting really really high RPM to get the power back. So this is actually what we've created sort of built for any HQ5146 and your T-Motor 5150. Let's open this up. This is so exciting. Oh man, we've actually got prototypes, like we've got this guy right here. But, these are the first ones with all the laser engraving done, and these are what will be going on my main fleet. So we've done a bigger order than normal actually, just because I'm not really going to be changing motors for a while, so. We've got, got some fancy stuff here. This is new secret stuff for us to test, so you can't see that yet. Soon. Soon you'll see that stuff. Um, let's go over the more. Oh, we've got some new props to test too. I haven't actually, um, there's more secret things. There's a lot of secret things in here. So yeah, just, um, yeah, Timo does some cool stuff. Um, yeah, you can't see that one yet either, but they're cool. Just trust me. Okay, this has some subtle changes to it, so we'll talk about those later too. There's a lot of secret stuff with testing Team Motor, they're really active with their production. Um, even like I said, trying to make these motors one step ahead of what Team Motor does is really hard. And in the end, like I had some ideas that worked really well, and then Team Motor said, Oh, I've actually got a few of these other ideas, sort of, that they were putting into the Pro 3, and I thought, they sound good. Let's try it. It was something they were talking about back in 2017, and so we tried it, and the results were really, really good. So I was like, yep, yeah, I'm putting these in my motor, so... This is the end result. This is what we've got for the first generation of Raptor Series motors. So, here we have the yellow line or gold line, um, 2000 KB. So this is your 6S high power motor. And then, I'm guessing it's one of these. Let's have a look. If I can get the box out. 4S high power. Look at that. So, the actual colors. And sort of inspired by Formula One, where you have the different bands that signify sort of your different grips. So in this case, we're sort of symbolizing you've got gold for four S, sort of high power, sort of more efficient, um, and then you got your so six S high power, and then this is more your like four cell sprint class style thing. So for like your general club racing, this is no dramas. This can also do obviously general club racing, no issues at all. But if you're say multi GP, you have to run like a two minute thirty second race or something. That's where this is going to start coming into its own. Obviously, dependent on your setup, how you prop it up. Um, for what I do though, this is definitely built around getting that extra flight time and it's sort of built to take advantage of where success is more efficient. So I think um, it's time. Let's open these boxes. Let's have a good look at these. Okay, so let's now actually open these and for the first time see the real production, fully ready to go uh, BMS motors. I don't know what to say. I'm so excited about this, guys. But um, yeah, we've done like, we've got a C3D printer models of this. Uh, we've got obviously the pre-production ones that are basically these without any of the engraving on them. But this is the first of the true production motors. And I believe this will be the first of the true production ones to go on a quad. I'm pretty sure no one's actually beaten me to this, so. Hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so I think let's start with the 4S high power. Um, this is probably a lot more closer to what people are traditionally used to as far as a motor. So this is probably what I anticipate I'll use the most in Australia just because I do like the sort of 4S sprint style racing. So, let's get this out. Oh, this is so exciting, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. So 
There we go. So this is a two tour 7.5, 2700 kV. Um, rev line indicates four cell high power. So we're probably gonna end up releasing a lightweight series of motors down the road. We're still working on some stuff for that though, just sort of getting the groundwork ready. Um, I really want an ESC that's really reliable for that too. So that way when you go to that, you have sort of a full environment ready. But this is something that you can put this on your normal five inch quad and like at the very least, even if it's not optimized, it'll be equivalent to what you had before. But then obviously you run the optimized gear for it and then you really start to get the benefits of it. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. So, I mean, it'll be really cool to get these on a quad. But damn, it's got the engraving. It's like full professional. So um, that's the 227.5. Let's um, take a look at the 2000 KB. Uh, six cell motor. So this is a 23, six and a half. What I found when I was doing a lot of the six cell testing was that you tend to have more bottom end efficiency with six cell. I guess it's just to do with the way power works when you have sort of more voltage, less amp draw. So you're trying to use the more torquey motor, more bottom end torque motor anyway to really take advantage of where 6L works well. Um, it also means too that the flight controller can make more efficient corrections. So technically you do get a little bit more efficiency there sort of once again at that bottom end. Um, but then also because you have the small stator, you tend to lose the top speed a bit. So we brought back the KV, brought the KV up a little bit. Um, also got that 236 and a half mil stator. So you've really sort of brought a bit of that top end back, uh, a bit of the control, that way the flight controller is more to work with. And then that way you get a more controllable quad and then also a faster quad. Um, the way I sort of intend for these to fly is even though you've got that 2000 KV, it's not like you're slamming the throttle using it all the time. It's more just so the flight control does have that extra bit of grip to work with and also because the KV charts don't tend to fully translate over to real life and how and um, how a motor's will perform based on their sort of KVs versus your voltage you put in. So basically, with we've had a little bit of extra KV, so it feels more like, say, it's equivalent four cell KV, but then we've also added a bit more again, that way we've got a bit of that top speed back. And then also when you're running a sort of thinner blade, a higher efficiency blade, uh, you've got that RPM to give it the power back and give it power back efficiently. Um, but yeah, that's my, these are my two motors. So we've got the gold for six cell high power, red for high power four cell, and I love them both, and I'm very excited to start racing with these. It's um, gonna be really cool. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video, and more to come soon.